Hi, my name is Yuri Chegel, and I would like to present you Nano SPR8481 Surface Plasma Resonance Biosensor System. The device features compact size, eight channel measurements for elimination of the drift, measurements in liquid and air environments, possibility of electrochemical measurements with external potential state. Also, the device is able to show a full SPR curve during measurements simple setup with connection to the computer via USB port, ability to measure and overlay signal from external source. In this demo, we will show the device setup, different measurement modes, and we'll run a typical experiment. Setting up an experiment is quite simple. First, you need to install the prism by sliding the prism holder into grooves and tightening the screw. To maintain an optical contact, let's apply an immersion liquid. One tiny droplet should be sufficient. We offer high quality sensor glass lights covered with evaporated 45 nanometer gold over 5 nanometer chromium layer to ensure good gold adhesion. Next, let's apply the gold slide to the surface of the prism and distribute an immersion oil with a few circular motions. Next, we'll apply the gasket. Gaskets can vary in thickness. This allows to adjust the volume of the measurement chamber. Our SPRI devices require a peristatic pump if you plan to run liquid flow mode experiments. We offer a peristatic pump that is integrated with the device software via USB connection. User can adjust flow rate, direction and start-stop the pump manually by using buttons at the front side. Now let's connect the tubing to the cuvette and install the cuvette to the optical table. I would like to mention that we also offer an optional thermoheating cuvette as well as thermostabilization chamber for the device. Let's tighten the cuvette to seal the measurement chamber. We can utilize a Pendorf holder and using the peristatic pump we will pump the solution through the cuvette. For your experiments, you can pick the prosthetic pump from different manufacturers. Let's turn on the pump and adjust the pump speed if required. Next, we are going to connect the power source to the device. USB connection and turn on the device. In multiple mode of operation we can measure sequentially a series of full curves. The maximal scanning range is 16 degrees. In device software, left side window shows full curves for each measurement channel, right side kinetics. In slope mode, we choose the point on a full curve and device continuously measures the response signal without mechanical movement. 
In this mode, we are able to gather many data points in a short period of time. This is a real-time view. As you can see, we measured hundreds of data points in just a few seconds. Additionally, we are able to measure multiple data points in a short period of time by reducing the scanning range. For the test experiment, we will inject BSA and anti-BSA into the QET. After establishing the baseline in the buffer, we are going to introduce the measurement solution. As a result, the position of minima will shift. In the left top side of the screen, there is a window to control the pump. You can start or stop the pump and adjust the flow rate. As the experiment progresses, we observe the saturation. In this brief demo, we demonstrated the device setup and basic experiment. If you have additional questions, please contact us at sales at nanoSPR.com. Thank you for watching.